There are 20 weapons to find in the Final Fantasy VII Remake, 5 for each character, and all of them are worth discovering as they not only have a new ability that can be learned, but strengths and weaknesses that may be better suited for your playstyle. Some of them can't be missed, while others are deceptively hidden. Either way, we're here to show you where to find every weapon in the game. And the first three can't be missed. You'll receive Cloud's Iron Blade from the Weapon Store owner in Chapter 3, Tifa's Metal Knuckles in Chapter 5 after defeating the Crab Warden, and Barret's Light Machine Gun once you meet up with Biggs in Chapter 6. The next weapon you can find is Tifa's Sonic Strikers. They can be found in Chapter 7 after opening the doors marked B6. A purple chest containing the weapon is straight ahead at the edge of the wall. The next weapon is Aerith's Silver Staff. This can be bought in Chapter 8 once the Moogle Shop has been opened. You should easily have the two Moogle Medals necessary to buy the staff. Cloud can also obtain a new weapon in Chapter 8. All he has to do is complete the side quest, Kids on Patrol, and defeat the Hedgehog Pie King. As a reward, one of the kids will give Cloud the Nail Bat. Cloud's next weapon can be found in Chapter 9 once you arrive in Wall Market. Head for the Weapon Store to buy the Hard Edge for 2,000 gil. Later, in Chapter 9, when Aerith is being fitted for her dress, three new side quests will open up, one of which will take Cloud back to the Corneo Arena. Once he completes the quest, he'll be given Aerith's Arcane Scepter. The next weapon you can find is in Chapter 10 with Cloud, Aerith, and Tifa in the sewers. After draining the first pool of water you come across, you can then enter the area. Slip under a nearby gate to find a purple chest containing Tifa's feathered gloves. After leaving the sewers and entering the train graveyard in Chapter 11, you'll travel through two old train cars. Rather than heading north, go through the train on the right. On the other side is a chest containing Aerith's Mithril Rod. But this isn't the only weapon for Aerith in this chapter. During the boss fight with Elagor, you will want to steal from it in order to receive the Bladed Staff. Make sure you've gotten steel material from Chadley's battle reports before reaching this point and equip it for the battle. It may take a few steel attempts, but eventually you'll get it. The next available weapon is Barrett's Big Bertha, which can be bought in Chapter 13 from the new weapon shop in Evergreen Park for 2500 gil. Of course, if you're like me and didn't check their inventory, you could also buy the weapon in the Shinra building in the employee recreation area. However, Tifa's next weapon can't be missed, as it's a reward for defeating the failed experiment boss near the end of this chapter. There are then three weapons to find in Chapter 14, and they can be found in any order. Personally, I found Barrett's Steel Pincers next, as they're located in the Moogle Shop in the Sector 5 slums for 7 Moogle Coins. Next, go to Wall Market and visit the Weapon Shop to buy Cloud's Mithril Saber for 3,000 gil. Finally, one of the side quests, Subterranean Menace, has you return to the secret Shinra lab and fight a behemoth. Once it's been defeated, Weimer will hand over Barrett's Wrecking Ball. Tifa's final weapon, Purple Pain, can be found during Chapter 16 as she's swinging from chandelier to chandelier. After she falls, you'll see a set of bars leading to nearby display cases. In the back corner is a purple chest containing the weapon. Later in Chapter 16, after talking with Mayor Domino, speak with his assistant in the library. He will offer more details on the Avalanche Contact for 10,000 gil. Pay it to get the info as well as Barrett's final weapon, the EKG Cannon. It's hard to miss Aerith's final weapon. As Chapter 17 begins, you'll see a purple chest nearby. Inside is her reinforced staff. And then there's Cloud's final weapon, the Twin Stinger, which is found as you explore the drum. After his and Barrett's first fight with a moth unit, you'll spot a purple chest to the left of the stairs leading up. Inside is his new sword. And that's all the weapon locations in the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Happy hunting, and don't forget to maximize your proficiency with each one to make you a true terror on the battlefield. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on Final Fantasy and other things gaming.